Here we are with a young apple tree planted last year. Uh, we didn't actually get to the initial pruning till delayed dormant pruning in the spring. And let's take a look at it, see what we did, what it did, and then what are we going to do now to further its growth. Okay, I put this, I, I purchased a pretty high quality branch tree. It was actually about this tall, and it had a number of branches up here. It had a number of existing branches down here, and they were, and still are, one, two, three, and four. And again, even though I had a leader with some promising uh, scaffold branches up here, I decided to train it to an open center form, a vase, a cup. So I made one principal cut. And you can see the scar here. I cut the leader out to make it a, a vase or an open center. And I went with one, two, three, four primary branches. Multiple leaders is a synonym. And they're pretty well spaced horizontally, and they have some reasonable vertical spacing. I would like, actually, in an instance like this, to have these four branches spread over about 18 inches. Uh, your spreading of branches, your training of branches is a mechanism to get light into the core of the tree, an alley of light, a shaft of light, as you wish. But these branches were just naturally spread in a manner that allowed that to happen. So I was good. Uh, and then I pruned them back about half their length. I have a pruning wound here and another one on this branch here, similarly here and again down there. The concept is that you make a heading cut on a branch, you cut it back a portion of its length, and the more you cut it back, the longer and stronger its growth in the next season. So I cut these branches back, which is standard for a just planted tree or even a one or two year old tree, about half their length. And this is the point of cutting and the resumption of growth. What's this about 26, maybe 28 inches and similarly all the way around. Granted, that one's a little weaker. Hmm, what might be the cause? It's easy to problem solve. You see how this branch comes out flat versus these branches going at more like a 60 degree angle like that? Basic principle of plant growth. Upright growth is vigorous and grows towards the sky. Flat growth is less vig vigorous, tends to more towards fruiting. So it makes sense. And, uh, but I can live with this weaker branch. I have a solution for its weakness. We'll get to it in a minute. So one, two, three, four branches. They were cut, they grew behind the cut. And this is your desire. We got action. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a little nubbin, seven there. These are mostly fruit buds, fat, round, protrude out from the stem, and then we have a weak lateral here. This, these can be kept and will be my initial bearing surface. I can train this down a tick, weaken it even more, summer prune it, and, and it'll be a nice site for two, maybe three fruit. Uh, and I have this, which is an upright that's vigorous, and I, I really don't want it here. It's going to cloud up the center, so I will thin it. Uh, so the same thing can be said about these other branches. They responded to the heading cut by growing and by initiating either weak laterals, some better placed than others, uh, and or fruit buds or short shoots that terminate in a fruit bud. But also what happened was down below I got one, two, three new branches forming. And I'm going to try to incorporate one of these into the primary scaffold uh, branches here. And my choice would be I would 
I would discard this one because it's both low and weak. And I'm going to discard this one, although it's a handsome branch, is because it's a little low. Thin them. Let's keep this one and we'll just work it out into this zone here. So I'll have a little bit of training and spreading to do here. Maybe move this over a tick like that. Again, keeping shafts of light open to the core of the tree. That's your basic tree structure. Here I am, uh, the next winter, end of the winter, beginning of spring, it's time to prune. I started by thinning unwanted branches and I get rid of the, those that are misdirected. Uh, I'm trying to put it on the ground, there you go. Uh, and again, uh, these moderately weak laterals can be worked with, again, trained and trained and then some are pruned or shortened to be nice fruit bearing surfaces. Uh, because I have this here and this here and this here and that there, I'm just gonna thin this, uh, don't need it. Um, and I could train this down, but it's just a little more vigorous than I want, so I'm gonna thin it. This is, this is where it's at with laterals. Again, almost all species of fruit bear almost all their fruit on laterals. Laterals are your friends. A lateral that comes out and runs perpendicular to the main branch and just grows six or eight inches is kind of at a flat angle is a perfect lateral. You don't have to manage it. It's self-managing. It will just grow a little bit, but not much more and set up fruit buds along its length left is good. Uh, so basic structure, one, two, three, four, five branches. Let's treat them. Uh, let's deal with a new one first. I'm going to just prune it a little more than half its length. And again, to an outward facing bud. Let's take this and prune it similarly again to an outward facing bud. And uh, I believe the uh, still in vogue term rinse and repeat comes into play here. Now this one I'm going to treat a little differently. I want maximum growth through a lesser number of outlets or buds here. I'm going to thin this and thin this. I want all my energy to go up here and I'm going to prune this quite a bit down to just a few buds there. Again, the more you prune, the stronger it grows. So just in general, when you're approaching a tree, you prune the weak branches back the most and the strong branches less so. Um, so this is good. I'm just actually going to get rid of that, just kind of visuals, although that was a perfectly good branch I could have left there. Uh, but I'm not going to touch that. Uh, so uh, we're good. Uh, three, four minutes of thinking and talking, about 30 seconds of action. We're good.